Are you ready to take your English to the next level? In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you 50 super common English phrases. These are advanced phrases you can use in everyday conversations. They will help you sound more natural and understand native speakers better. Let's get the ball rolling and dive right in. And the first phrase is, what's up? What's up? It's a casual way to ask how someone is or what they are doing. Hey, what's up? How was your weekend? The second one is, let's catch up. Let's catch up. It means to have a conversation, to share what's new. For example, it's been ages. Let's catch up over coffee. The next one is, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's about informing someone you'll come back shortly. I need to grab my book. I'll be right back. Here, see what you can do with them. I'll be right back. And the next one is take your time. Take your time. It means to tell someone they don't need to hurry. No rush on the report. Take your time. It's up to you. It's up to you. It means you decide. Do you want to watch a movie or play a game? It's up to you. It's up to you whether we eat or not. No worries. No worries. It means it's okay. Don't worry about it. You missed the meeting. No worries. We can catch up later. Hand in there. Hand in there. It means don't give up. It's about encouraging someone to keep going. I know it's tough, but hand in there. Things will get better. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's not complicated. Setting up the new printer. It's not rocket science. Just follow the instructions. The next one is, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. You can use it in a store when you don't need help. Like, I'm just looking around for now, thanks. Hey, you need help? No, I'm just looking. That's not the point. That's not the point. It means that the main issue is something else. I'm not saying you're wrong, but that's not the point. We need to focus on the deadline. The next one is, what's going on? What's going on? It means what's happening. You seem upset. What's going on? Keep me posted. Keep me posted. It means keep me informed about the situation. Let me know when you hear back from the client. Keep me posted. Keep me posted on any more missing persons. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's about complimenting a joke or a funny comment. That's a good one. You really know how to make me laugh. Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. It's about apologizing for interrupting someone. Sorry to bother you, but do you have a moment to help me? I'm sorry to bother you so late. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's start the task or project. We've discussed the plans. Now let's get the ball rolling. Give me a break. Give me a break. It's about asking for some time to rest or for people to stop bothering you. I've been working all day. Give me a break. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I completely agree. That's the best movie of the year. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I find that surprising. Really? I'll keep my fingers crossed. I'll keep my fingers crossed. It's about hoping for a positive outcome. I have my job interview tomorrow. I'll keep my fingers crossed. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not a good idea or it doesn't have enough value. Trying to fix the old laptop isn't worth it. Let's just buy a new one. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. It's easy to do. 
The exam was a piece of cake. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I'll handle it. You don't need to worry about the arrangements. I'll take care of it. I will. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. What's the catch? What's the catch? What's the hidden problem? The deal sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? The next one is don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. It means don't be offended by what I'm saying. I'm just giving feedback. Don't take it personally. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Let's start focusing on the main work. We've chatted enough. Let's get down to business. Gentlemen, let's get down to business. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. It means I'm listening carefully. You've got exciting news. I'm all ears. We're halfway there, so don't forget to subscribe and keep improving your English. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. It means I'll remember it for the future. I appreciate the feedback on my presentation. I'll keep that in mind for next time. It's out of my hands. It's out of my hands. I have no control over the situation. I've done all I can. It's out of my hands now. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's out of my hands. The next one is time flies. It means time goes by quickly. I can't believe it's already September. Time flies. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate your help, but I need more time. I'm on the same page. I'm on the same page. I agree or understand the same thing. We both think the project should be completed by Friday. I'm on the same page. Yeah, we're on the same page. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I'll deal with that problem later. We don't know what will happen with the budget yet. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. The next one is it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not important or serious. Missing one meeting isn't a big deal. We'll reschedule. It's not a big deal. Why did you say real important stuff? What are you doing? You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. It's about expressing disbelief or a surprise. You finished the project already. You've got to be kidding. Keep it up. Keep it up. It means to continue doing the good work. Your performance has been excellent. Keep it up. Let's play it by ear. Let's play it by ear. Let's see how things go before making a decision. We don't have a plan yet for the weekend. Let's play it by ear. Let's play it by ear, see how things go tomorrow. I'm in. I'm in. It means I'm interested or will participate. Are you joining us for the game night? I'm in. That's the last straw. That's the last straw. The final problem that makes you lose your patience. When they canceled the trip last minute, that was the last straw. You can also say the straw that broke the camel's back. Moving on. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. It means I'll try it. I've never tried rock climbing before, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll give it a shot. Better late than never. Better late than never. It's better to do something late than not at all. I finally finished the book you lent me. Better late than never. By the way. By the way. By the way, uh... It is used to introduce additional information. By the way, did you hear about the new cafe opening downtown? In no time. In no time means very quickly. The repair will be done in no time, so you can pick up your car soon. 
the good lawyer which I have, I'll be out in no time. Just in case. Just in case. It's like about preparing for a potential situation. I've brought an extra charger. Just in case. Let's face it. Let's face it. It means to accept the reality of a situation. Let's face it. The project isn't going to be finished on time. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. It means no anger or resentment. I'm sorry about the misunderstanding. No hard feelings. To play it safe. Play it safe. It means to avoid taking risks. We should play it safe and double check the details before submitting. Only good business to play it safe. Yeah, we are. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the right attitude. You're taking on the challenge with enthusiasm. That's the spirit. To be honest. To be honest. It means to speak frankly. To be honest, I didn't enjoy the movie. You bet. You bet. It means absolutely, definitely. Are you coming to the game tomorrow? You bet. I wouldn't miss it. Jack Daniels? You bet. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. It is used when the person you were just talking about appears. Speak of the devil. Here is Sarah now. And the last one is let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. Let's finish working for today. It's getting late. How about we call it a day and continue tomorrow? And that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more language content.